<laughs> G'day everyone. Um, exciting news. We've got our um, firmware released. Let me just see if I can turn this up a little bit because I think it's a bit uh, down. Uh, waiting on the chat for people to pop in because uh, this is totally unscheduled. I've got my Sony News and Rumours show on tomorrow. Um, so I'm just going to give this a few minutes to let people actually come in because I'm going to discuss the uh, new firmware that's just been released for the A7 III with you all. Uh, take you through some things about it, uh, what I've just sort of found so far, uh, and some things like that. So just pop in the chat, guys. If you're just interested too, um, I have just put up a video too of uh, an A6400, a, a little rig that a uh, small rig actually sent me, uh, that I've just posted that up. So have a look at that. It's an amazing little setup. Um, they did give me one a while ago that was for the right hand side and they sent me one today with, that was for the left hand side of the A6400 so please have a check of that as well. Uh, a lot of the Americans obviously are going to be in bed now so they're probably not going to get this until the morning. Uh, this is mostly going to be probably the Europeans um, and obviously the Aussies and people like that that uh, tune in for this. So let's see who's here anyway in the chat. I want to give it a few minutes before I take you through some stuff. Um, about what's been released with it. Um, so we've got Supernomic here, Raven's here. Uh, he says he's stoked, so am I. Um, Jubilee's saying yeah, Andrea is saying hi David, or Andre. Uh, James is saying hey David, uh, boy you're on it. <laughs> PV Log, g'day mate, is saying uh, we finally able to see you live. I know, <laughs> it's very rare that we're on the same time, are we? Obviously you're usually in bed. Uh, Roman says, hello, David. Torben says, g'day, David. Uh, Tim said, wow, candy for us Europeans, yeah. Well, we all get it first, don't we? That's one good thing about uh, being in the future, I suppose. Um, what else have we got? Uh, Steve saying, greetings all. G'day, Steve. Paul is saying, um, where were we? Um, oh, where was I? Hello. James is saying it's 209 in Texas. Why aren't you in bed, James? Some of you guys never sleep. Um, hopefully I won't cough. I've still got a bit of that bronchitis. Lathios, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Lamb, I'll just say, already updated my A7 III and works. Yep, I've updated mine already. I'm just going to take you through a couple of things with it. Uh, Tim said, cheers from Helsinki. PV Log said, we'll update both my cameras today. Gene says, hi David from Amsterdam. Uh, Rubert says, I'm on, I'm off on two shoots today. Is it safe to update? Well, look, if, if, if you have a paid shoot today, I wouldn't do it uh, until after a paid shoot has been done. I've got a wedding on Saturday, but I've got multiple cameras, so I did update. But if I had the wedding tomorrow, I wouldn't have updated. Um, so it's best sometimes, just in case if something happens, to wait if you've got a paid shoot, unless you've got backup gear that you're not updating. Um, what else have we got? Uh, and Thomas said, finally, I know. Uh, PV Log said, and congrats on the 20,000. Thank you so much, mate. Really appreciate that. Uh, Paul says, American. Uh, Melvin says, can you show how to upload? Well, I've just done it, so um, I can't really because it, it wouldn't do it again. But it was simple. All I did was open up a folder. Uh, I just had uh, in here... Let me just see if I can grab up to um, here. I'm on a Mac anyway. But in there, I just downloaded the file from Sony, which is that one. All I had to do was say open. That will open up a folder. Uh, let me just bring it up, which is this. Now, if you've, uh, I think if you need to load a driver, you have to set this, but I didn't need to do that. All I did was open up this and then just open that up and, and basically that was it. Uh, if you open that up, it will come up with a little dialer box in a minute, I think. Uh, it's going, it's verifying it now. If I open it, it brings up this uh, little dialer box. And then you've got to put into here your password. Once that's done, all you do is you attach a camera. It tells you now to attach your camera. Uh, through the USB cable that the camera came with. Uh, I attached it. It then finds that it's uh, the version is different. There's a new update and you just click next 
and it goes through the whole system and that's it that was it and it worked uh, it was very 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 easy so uh, it used to be a bit of an issue early on with updating but it seems now that it's it's very simple uh, if it's on Windows I don't know because I haven't got a Windows machine but um, yeah um, Torben said, I experienced no problems with the update process at all. Amelia says, hi. Uh, Allah says, g'day all. Seed says, Mr. Ballman. Um, what else have we got? Um, Christoph said, hello on, on a holiday in Denmark having breakfast now. Cool. Uh, Paul says, sleep is overrated. Doom says, it, it's the time lapse option that Sony is talking about. Uh, good, think it will be the time lapse video. Uh, I haven't used it yet, so I'll, I'll open it up and show you where it is. Do you think there will be a large number of photos that will be used in the desktop software to turn into video? Well, it just depends on how many you take in your... Um, I think you've got to connect it to the camera to actually make the video, but I'll more than likely just use software. I use per second uh, to do my time lapses, so I'm just going to take the shots individually and then use a different software to create the time lapse. Uh, but at least there's a time lapse app now built in. G'day, Photomiac. A super awesome guy said it's 2.11 here a.m. Um, I work overnight. Well, that's a good reason to still be up. Helmet said hi from Germany. Um, Steve Wag said all my settings came back. I'll talk about that in a second. And Thomas says can't wait for you to full walk through on the firmware. Um, Hero says my YouTube alert actually worked this time. Yeah, I put it in for half past, but like I said, I'll only give another minute or so and then I'm going to start sort of taking you through it. The time-lapse option that Sony is talking about, do you think it will be a time-lapse video straight out of camera? No, I think you've got to connect it to your uh, phone, the phone app. Um, Charlotte says, I'm heading overseas at Easter for vacation. I'm apprehensive about updating beforehand. I've, if, if it's Easter, Charlotte, I, I would do it now. Um, Something not working like what happened with update two, yeah. Well, you could wait a week or so if you wanted to. Easter's still a week away, and then update if, if you thought that there was any issues out there. Uh, I certainly just updated and there was no issues at all. I hope this doesn't break the arsenal I ordered. Uh, Jeremiah said hi from Colorado. Rick said, hey Dave, can't wait to try it out. Sam said, hello, I updated my A7 III on Mac and it was easy. Yeah, they seem to have made it easier than what it was because it used to be really hard. Um, and that's about it. Seems like you need to set the focus area to wide to get best results. I just got an A6 400 yesterday and the new AF is amazing. It is, it's incredible. Um, Buzz said, I update, the update went smooth, although I had to bypass USB hub and connect directly. Yeah, I did go through a hub, uh, but I think it is best to directly connect it to the computer. Um, hopefully, I'll be more impressed in the daylight tomorrow um, than I am here in the poor light. Wondering uh, what will be the best focus area will be. Yeah, we've still all got to test this out anyway. All right, so let's have a look anyway. So basically, um, if you look here, this Sony Alpha room has just posted not long ago that um, Sony have officially announced uh, the uh, new firmware version 3. Uh, I actually use that to find uh, the software anyway because it's easier sometimes to get it from there than it is to just go to your country and because sometimes per country can take a while for them to sort of put it to that country in, and I just usually go and find it wherever I can. There's no real difference. Uh, as long as it's an English version, I suppose. Um, but I just downloaded it directly from um, Sony Alpha Rumors, and I just installed it without any issues at all. And I'll come back to the chat too soon, guys. So I uh, installed it at without any issues at all. Uh, it does now include the real-time IAF tracking. What that means is that you no longer have to program a second button to uh, control your IAF. It's automatic. So that saves you a button. So I'll have to reprogram my camera now. It used to be that I used the AEL button on the back of the camera. So now I can use that for something else. That may be that I now program the AEL button to turn IAF off. And I'll talk about that uh, a little bit later. Um, so I have now got a separate button for that. Uh, you've now got um, real-time animal IAF on the uh, in the firmware, and I'll show you how that works. Uh, and there's also animal uh, interval shooting as well. So we've got that 
uh, as well. So there's three really great things that we've got or have been added. Uh, certainly the animal IAF and the interval shooting I haven't got in my A9, so that's one thing now that I've got that's available in version three uh, of the software. Like I said, I've just installed it now, so I haven't really tested, but there's a couple of things that I'll talk to you about uh, that are interesting uh, in the camera itself. Um, because uh, one thing that I have to say is it didn't do what it did on the A9 and it doesn't get rid of all your settings. So clearly uh, it, you haven't had a restructure of menus and things like that that you had to have with the A9 and that's one of the big differences I suppose between this and what the A9 update was. The A9 update actually did update the menu system itself uh, and there may have been other reasons why they did that uh, probably trying to fit everything inside the the uh, actual BIOS or whatever it is that they flash the um, the that update into, uh, they may have had to make it sort of more compressed to fit in the A9. So there are some big differences though between the A9 and this though, in that the menus haven't been updated. Uh, it hasn't got the tracking, so now everyone will finally find out that it hasn't got the the actual tracking that the A9 has got. But it does have the animal IAF and the intervalometer that the A9 hasn't got yet that comes uh, up a little bit later. Uh, it did update perfectly, so I had no issues with that at all. But the, there's a couple of things that are different that I'll show you if we look in the menus. Now, I just haven't got this set because I want to actually come up onto the computer to um, uh, show you the tracking itself and things. But um, inside the menu, I noticed that, uh, let me just come up to here. Um, I notice now that uh, the only thing that seems to have changed is the IAF uh, has come through. Now, someone asked where the interval shooting is. It's up to the top, uh, top here, camera one, uh, and it's four of 14. You'll notice that you've got interval shooting that actually is there. So this is where you set your interval shooting uh, and you can obviously turn it on. You have your uh, shooting start time, which means how long after you actually click the button. Uh, your shooting in interval, three seconds, number of shots that you require, and your tracking sensitivity as well. Uh, you can go through there and set all that stuff. It also tells you down there how long that uh, setting will be, or how much it'll be. At the moment it's saying it's gonna shoot for one minute and 27 seconds. So that now is built into your camera, which is fantastic. Um, uh, you can do your silent shooting if you want to, obviously, uh, and things like that. So anyway, so that's where that setting is. So that setting is new. So it's been put in uh, the camera one menu at the top, and it's 4 of 14. So that has changed. The only other thing that I think has actually changed is the uh, face uh, IAF set. Uh, because this is what's different. I noticed in here, and this is what you've got to be aware of, is that you have to actually select what you want to track. So if you want animal IAF, you have to actually select it through here. So you need to select uh, the animal picture and not the human. So you've got to be careful of this. You could set this on a quick key, I suppose, if you wanted to, um, perhaps on that button you've saved or somewhere else. But the difference is if you don't do that, it, it really will not work on animals. Now I'll show you here. Let me just play this and see if it'll track me. Now I'm on normal AF at the moment, IF. So you can see at the moment it's tracking my eyes even with the glasses on. Uh, I mean this is on video so it's probably not going to work that fantastic. Um, but you can see here that, let me just see if I can get to another spot again where it's not so big. Um, Again, it's working quite well. You can see it's going for, for the eye, and then if it can't grab the eye, it'll go for face uh, as well. So it's certainly, that works as it did, and it's probably a bit better than before. But like I said, I have to check that and, and try it to see how it is. But I noticed that if you want to, oh, I wasn't on the, I never switched, did I? Uh, let me come back, I don't think I switched. So let me come back and I'll redo this for you. Um, I'll play it again, and you'll see now how it's set up. Um, oh, I can't, actually. Where are we? I've got to bring it back. Oh, you would see it. You saw it through there, yeah. Yeah, you did see it. Now, if I bring it up through um, the animal IAF, let me bring this up. Uh, where was that picture? Here. Uh, if I show my dog Ziggy uh, through here, 
I'll just move this up. If I use the focus as it is, because it's human uh, tracking, it will just track like it did before. It'll grab anything in the, in the frame itself. So if I now change those settings to uh, the subject priority there, and I change that to animal, now when I do it, you'll notice straight away that it's grabbed his eye. So that's something that you've got to be aware of, is that you need to have the animal uh, eye tracking turned on. It doesn't do it automatically. Um, and that's interesting. I suppose it, it may be better so if you've got a person with a dog, it will track. You can then determine what you actually want it to grab the eye autofocus of. So you do have to be aware that you do have to set that uh, face IAF setting off. And then you've got all your settings in there that you can um, choose as well to sort of set with that. So that, that was interesting. And I thought, wow, I didn't expect that. I thought that it would have um, changed automatically. But now it does make sense to me the way that they've done that in the fact that uh, you have to select the animal IAF is, if that's what you want to be doing. And like I said, you can probably put that on a quick key or something like that. Stick it in your favorite menu uh, and then change over very, very quickly to what you want. So that's really quite interesting. So there's a couple of great things. The animal IAF now obviously is working uh, and the intervalometer is there as well. Uh, one suggestion that I'm thinking about though is, is that now, and I'll, I'll open up the chat, chat again in a minute, uh, one of the other things I was thinking though, now that the IAF is automatic, it might be good sometimes to have a quick key that you can turn that off. Because when you half press that shutter button, it's automatically going to go to an eye. And if that's not what you want, uh, you may want to have a quick key button there to switch that IAF off if you don't want that to happen. Uh, and that could be something that... Um, could be uh, very useful and programmed on your camera. The other thing I noticed as well is it doesn't have the swapping of the eyes like the A9 does. So that clearly is only going to be on the A6400 and the A9. So I haven't found anywhere in there that uh, has the uh, ability to swap eyes. So there are some big differences between say getting this and the um, and the A9. So let me open up the chat because I, uh, I'm just curious to see what people are saying. Uh, I mean, I won't be on here very, very long. I just wanted to pop in and have a discussion with you about it. Um, let me see what people are saying. Uh, greetings from Kuwait. Nick said, uh, updated, no problem. Bohemian said, uh, is useful, David. Mick said, uh, I will wait until I get back from Brisbane before updating. Um, yeah, thanks for the lens too, Mick. I've actually bought one. It was that good. I'll talk about it tomorrow probably on the Sony Alpha Rumors show uh, that I actually bought one. Um, so I've put yours back in the box. I'll send it to you when you come back. Um, Vincent said, hello. Michael said, finally watching live. Good morning from Clearwater, Florida. G'day, Michael. Uh, Steve said, hi from the UK. Uh, run with scissors said just Carter here any sign of the a7s3 no not yet at this stage we're still thinking late in the year for the a7s3 runs with scissors um, been playing for a couple of hours on the a7r3 so happy with the new iaf uh, can you use electronic shutter for nighttime star trail photo uh, to save the shutter count yes you probably could um, but remember, it does um, degrade quality a little bit. You do lose a little bit of the bit depth, so you do have to be a bit careful uh, on using it. And I haven't done it. Someone in the live chat may be able to say uh, whether... I know you get the ultimate quality if you're using mechanical shutter. You certainly would be, have to be careful using silent shutter on that camera if you're dealing with lighting, though. But, you know, stars, you're not going to get that. Um, flying high, flying low says, in, in Korea, the 3 version is not up yet. Uh, but I could be downloading it from the US, yep. Uh, Buzz said, where is the intervalometer settings? Well, I've showed that. Um, Steve said, updated the A7 III and the A7R III, all great quick update, like uh, when we did our A9s. Rui said, hello, everyone. I was able to download the version 3 on both of my A7 III's, did not have any problems, yet mine worked perfectly as well. Uh, Top Vision said, I just updated earlier, it works perfectly. Uh, Intervalometer settings is one of four. Yep, I've showed that now. Uh, Lewis is saying, first time watching live. Oh, well, thank you for joining us, Lewis. Um, greetings from Portugal. Buzzworthy said, um, 
Wow, couldn't shoot silent with a remote involometer, now built in. Nice, I know, exactly. Yay, nice IAF. And that's one great thing about shooting with that silent, because if you're shooting lots and lots of images, it's great to be able to have, uh, to be able to shoot in silent shutter. Just remember though, you do have to watch rolling shutter. The A7 III is not the A9, so if you've got anything that's moving fast, you're gonna have issues, and I wouldn't recommend doing it. But if, if it's not moving fast, like you wanted to do a, a uh, sunset, uh, things like that, stuff that's not moving very quick, you'd be fine using the intervalometer. Um, yay, new IF, yep, it seems to be working really well. Drew said, IAF working on the Sigma 150 to 600, well stoked. I've had a couple of people commented uh, on my video already saying that the uh, MC11 with adapted lenses, Canon lenses works better on the A7 III, so that you know gives you an idea that uh, perhaps uh, it is now working better as well. Um, and, and Drew's saying, yeah, it works with the 150 to 600, so stoked, fantastic. Tim said, I would hope you could uh, quickly switch either a button press or to hold to change the eye focus. Yeah, I'll have to look at that. There probably is a quick key that you can do it. You might, you'll still have to switch between it though, but you would, I think, be able to put it into a uh, custom key or in the favorites menu. Um, Drew said, set uh, IAF to C3 as my old face detect was on the same button. Yep, and there you go. So Drew's saying he's already set it to C3. Uh, James said, going to be very interesting to see if it works on fish and other marine life. Yeah, it will be. They'll probably keep updating that database though, and I think you'll find the IAF will get better over time. They have apparently tested thousands of animals and, and it's working, um, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, Torben said, I've just switched my designated IAF button to the human eye animal IAF. And that's a good idea, Torben. Uh, John said, easy firmware update and all menu settings saved, including my menu uh, and custom key settings. Uh, what a result, big time saver. Yeah, I was happy about that too. John said, uh, oh, I just read that. Lewis says, does it change from, no. I, you, I think you can only get the left or right eye on the A6400 or the A9, Lewis. Uh, that's, you just can't do that. Gilbert said, g'day all, I'm updating mine as we speak. Uh, Drew said, menu custom button is a total winner. I'll let you know how the camera goes on the wedding I'm doing on, on Saturday, guys. So uh, I certainly will let you know how both cameras go. I'm certainly happy with the A9, a brilliant update. Uh, and I'm sure I'm going to be happy with the A7 III as well. Um, Pitt says, hi from Mexico, g'day. Um, Drew said, uh, menu custom button is a total winner. Um... Sony said, hi David, update goes well, picks up my dog's eyes. Uh, black, uh, black dog, black eyes, works great. Um, Jenny said, hi, so glad uh, to be catching you live from the UK. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, Eduardo said, I was suffering, bought the a7 III and the Tamron 28 to 75. That camera is at home two weeks now in a box because the lens is not in yet. Oh no, gear acquisi acquisition syndrome, that's terrible. Amir says, no, not exactly for video uh, with MC11, it doesn't work. Um, well, IAF never works for video, but um, I'm wondering what you mean. You're saying it's not focusing well for video, Amir. Torben says, I'm a bit disappointing that there's no update to the menu system. None of what we've seen now on the A6400 and the A9. Let's see if they'll claim that the processor can't handle it. Yeah, you're not going to get those, Torben, on those cameras. Uh, I think they're going to force you to do a updated, uh, the, uh, buy a new camera to get those. Obviously, they've added it, added it to the A9 because that's their um, flagship camera. So that's why they've put it on that. The A6400 is a new camera. So I think you're going to find to get the new menu system, to get the eye where you can swap between eyes, you're going to have to buy a new camera. Um... Studio 42 says, good morning, David from Sweden. Coffee, but yeah, no, I'm only having um, lemonade tonight, guys. Um, Brett says, can't wait to see how this works on uh, Saturday for family portrait shoots. Like I said, I'll let you know too, because I've got a wedding to do. John says, working better on Tamron 7200 G2 with the MC11. Still not sure if I will uh, ch change to the Tamron 70-200 FE when it comes out. What do you think? 
Um, I probably would go for the Tamron, uh, the new Tamron native one when that comes out. I mean, just wait and see what they offer on that in that regard. Uh, but I think if you're using the G2 with the MC11, I think you'll probably find that the new Tamron, the FE version, Sony version, will work better. So I probably would sell that and buy that. Uh, Tim said, on my way home to update in 10 minutes. Yay. Um, Tebby says, are you able to set IEF to shutter button? I can't. I haven't tried that uh, yet. Um, it's on back button focus now, so I'd, ha I'd have to have a look and change that. I I'm sure you would be able to, though, because a lot of people don't use back button focus, so it'll automatically focus on the eye. That's the whole thing with this. If you half press down, it will automatically go to IAF. Um, Paul said, hi from the UK. So if I had, if you had the choice, would you buy the A9 for video work or the A7 III? Definitely buy the A9, Paul. Uh, the tracking alone is worth that for me. Uh, I, I would buy the A9, in a, well, I've already got it. Um, so I still, even though it hasn't got profiles, I would still prefer to use the A9 than I would for uh, the A7 III, particularly now with the new focusing. John says, AF doesn't work with adapted lenses in video before or after the update. Interesting. Um, they are saying that. So, because I, I mean... It, it, I've had a lot of people say that the cannons and stuff work fine. Uh, I'm not sure why, John, you're saying that. Bohemian said, is there any new Tamron lens news date? No, I'm still waiting to hear. I've heard nothing from Tamron Australia yet. There was meant to be a mid-year release, so it's still probably a bit early yet. Um, Eduardo says, David, uh, can we have a review of the Image Edge app? Yeah, I haven't even used that yet, Eduardo. I must do it. Uh, do you use it or should we forget about it? Like I said, I haven't used it at all. Um, the only time I'm, I use it, and I'll have to actually try and make sure I use it, is because when I'm doing weddings, I like to put the camera on the end of a massive pole and open that pole right up and then uh, press the shutter button from, my, uh, from the image app. But the only reason I like it is because I'm using the A7R2 and I can focus with that. Uh, I get I don't like using it because I can't focus with the apps. That's the main reason why I don't use it. But the A7R2 still has the ability to focus. So I stick it on the end of a big pole, I focus on the crowd, and then I take the shot from that app. So that's the only time I've seen to have used that app at this stage. Uh, I should have a look at it, though. Uh, Mark said, Sony A7 III update in India available. Not sure, Mark, uh, but you can certainly uh, download it from other places. Um, Studio 42 says, does the setting reset? No, they don't reset. It's it's all uh, as it was, which is fantastic. Uh, Jake said, biggest firmware update Sony has ever done to the Alpha system, but I wonder if they will continue to add major firmware updates after this. They may not with the A7 III and the A7R III, but they're certainly going to give the A9 another update. They've already mentioned that, that they're going to have Animal IAF and the uh, intervalometer in the A9. And they may even add other features in that uh, in the U.S. summer. Um, Amjit said, I'm stuck at work, but I can't wait to update it. I've got a wedding and birthday shoot this weekend, so looking forward to it. Brett said, yes, you half press down the AF lock button by default. Yeah, exactly, Brett. Uh, it'll just work by default now. Um, I have a photo shoot on Saturday. Should I wait or update today? Well, it depends. If you've got a backup camera, I would update. If you haven't got a backup camera, I would wait until after the shoot. I've got multiple cameras, so I wasn't worried about it. It is risky updating firmware before a paid shoot. Uh, so just make sure you have other cameras in case if something happens, because it does sometime brick cameras. It can happen. Um, I wonder if you can face register for animals. Uh, yeah, that'd be interesting. I wouldn't think so, though. Um, Drew says, testing animal IAF at Falcon's, uh, Falcony Center, I work at today, picks up my cat's eyes indoors on the Sigma 150-600C to at 3200 ISO. Not super quick, but wouldn't shoot under those conditions normally, but it works. Thanks for sharing. Torben says, I notice a positive difference with the Canon 70-200 2.8L uh, through the MC11. So that's good that you're saying that it's working better with the MC11. Uh, that that's a great feature uh, that that seems to be working better uh, so i'm eager to test others seven several canon lenses didn't work well with the afc maybe they will now 
Uh, Steve Wag said Image Edge works well. Timothy said someone on DPR claims that the new firm, uh, version 3 firmware has less accurate IAF. Well, we all wait to have to test it, won't we, Tim, uh, to see. Uh, don't believe what someone says first before you actually test it yourself. Drew says, Stoked Canon lenses work better. Two sounds positive. TB says, I can set normal AF to shutter, but not IAF. Quite disappointed. Really wanted to use the shutter button with IAF. Well, the shutter button will work. You just half press it. That, that's what the new system is. Uh, that, that's how it works now. PJ says, just install the update. And like TB found the IA uh, detect does not trigger on the focus button with my existing set in, settings. You may have to reset the camera if you're having issues. Uh, and then I'm sure it will work because it'll be its default state. Um, Chris said, hi David, is it possible to use touch to follow focus on the A7 III like you can on the A6400? No. No, it's not that. The touch tracking is not there. You can use lock on AF, but the lock on AF is not good. Um, yeah, the touch tracking is only on the A6400 and the A9, unfortunately. Um, Buzz says, timing for the Tamron 70 to 200, can't wait. I've got a feeling that lens may be announced the end of this year, or it probably won't be announced till uh, about May again next year. That's when Tamron seems to be releasing their new lenses, but they may release one earlier. Uh, we can all hope. Um, Paul says, I use the app on the a7 III and it allows for focusing. It's really cool. Um, I don't think, can, you can't focus with it, can you? I'll have to try it because I, I haven't tried it. Um, so you're saying, Paul, that you can focus now with the app. Well, I'll certainly have to give that a go. Uh, we meant after update, AF doesn't work at all in video when using MC11. I have the A9. Oh, interesting. So perhaps the MC11 needs to be updated then. Paul says, have you ever found the 30 minute limit a problem or heat issues for filming this length of time on the A9? Um, no, because I don't use it in that way. Look, I did do a test with the A9 and I filmed here and it was uh, it was over 30 degrees Celsius. It was incredibly hot on that day and it did overheat in 30, I think it was about 27 minutes. Um, but, so that could be an issue. But I never ever shoot long things in, that, that was shooting 4K. I never shoot long things in 4K. I'm always using 1080p and the camera will not overheat in um, in any time when I'm using uh, 1080p. It just doesn't overheat. Uh, if, if you've got a problem with the uh, time limit, you use something like a Ninja that I'm using here, and then you won't have that time limit anymore. That's one advantage with having uh, the A7R2 where I could have that no time limit hack that's on it, or you could get the, A7, uh, the A6400 that also has that no time limit or just use an external recorder and then you no longer have the time limit. Um, uh, Paul said, have you, uh, oh, that's, I just read that. Sorry, Paul, that was for you. Um, Alex says, what about the intervalometer? 60 seconds of maximum exposures is such a low quantity for astrophotography. Yeah, I can't talk about that because I just don't do astrophotography. Um, so I don't know. I'll have to play around with it to see how it is. Uh, Dickie says, update is available in Indonesia, downloading right now. Paul says, yes. Steve says, camera resets uh, to AFC. IAF only works in AFC. Um, yeah, you've got to make sure you are on AFC to make sure that that is the only time that that will work. Um, Paul says, touch focus, maybe uh, not as much as full manual. Um, Craig says, download in version 3 now, yes. Um, and that's caught up with the chat. Uh, so that, I mean, really, that was really all I wanted to talk to you about the, this evening. I'm going to talk, I may talk about a little more tomorrow in the live Sony Alpha news and rumors uh, that's on tomorrow. So I will have more to sort of say about, about it tomorrow with you guys in the live show. Um, so that's going to be really interesting. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'm just reading most people are just saying that they're downloading. It looks like the Animal IAF works great because I've already tested that. Uh, you do have to switch to it though, so just be aware of that. Uh, it, you, you can't, it'll be default on human, so it won't work on IAF, Animal IAF, unless you switch it over. So that's something to consider. 
the uh, time lapse now is built in, so these are all things that I'm going to have to now play with and try over the weekend. Uh, no glitches, no, none at all. I'll certainly let you know how I find the camera works on the weekend, so stay tuned for that. I won't be having any testing until then, but I have got a full wedding that um, I'm doing on Saturday, so I certainly will let you know about that uh, early next week uh, with both cameras, the A7 III and the A9. Uh, Torben says, I don't see any increase in hit rate. The green box does seem to be a little more sticky, uh, but that is just a green box on the screen. I think it still struggles and front focuses with glasses as much as before. Okay, interesting. We'll have to try that. I found the A9 particularly was a big improvement. You may not see that as much uh, with the A7 III. We'll just have to wait for testing to find out, guys. Um, Biharat says, Hi, David. Great to see something for wildlife users uh, with the A7 III. Is uh, 100 for 400 with 2 times teleconverter on the, only, on the Sony A7 III sharp enough even in low light? Yes, that's a great lens. Uh, it works really good with that teleconverter as well. So yes, I'd say that works fantastic. Marvin says, just updated to version 3. Animal IAF works well, and the built-in time-lapse works great. Uh, Nohit says, any firmware issues? Well, none yet, but like I said, I've just updated. Uh, so I'm still waiting to see how that works out. Wayne says, tried out Animal IAF on my black dog with dark eyes and works well. I've just tried it on Ziggy uh, that you saw, but that was only a still image. I'm going to go in now and try it inside just to see how it works. Uh, but it's, it's exciting. Like I said, we never thought we'd get updates like this from Sony, and we, we've just got a really good update, so I'm really excited about that. All right, guys, that's all I want to talk about really for now um, because... Like I said, I'm gonna. This was only a real quick discussion to say it's out there. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I may be able to get back onto those tomorrow uh, in the live show. Uh, I will be uh, doing that tomorrow, so please tune in on that if you um, uh, want to see the latest news and rumors for Sony. Uh, I've also got a really interesting thing. I am going to be sent the Sigma 105. That's being sent to me as we speak. So I can't wait to test it out with you guys, and I'm going to talk more about that tomorrow with all of you. Uh, so can't wait to see that, uh, to discuss some Sigma stuff that I'm going to uh, start reviewing. Last few questions. Paul said, thanks, David. I'm looking to purchase a camera to do filming work. Would you recommend to wait for the A7S III or buy an A9? Um, I think if you're a filmer, if you actually are a videographer, Paul, I would wait to see what happens if you can, because clearly that is going to be an incredible camera. So I would wait at this stage. If you can't wait and you need it now, I'd buy the A9. Uh, as long as you don't need profiles, that's what you've got to think about, though. I don't use profiles, and I'm very, very happy with it. So, you know, that that's, that's what I would be thinking. The A9 is incredible. Um... <laughs> Jobbly says it's working on insects, just kidding. Drew says AF is working in video mode on the M7, just to check. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know why some were saying they had problems. But it, but if in still mode, AF only works on quick video by half to pressing the shutter button. Okay, thanks for that, Drew. Uh, Arnie says how to disable IAF with a button. You just, you'll have to turn it off. I'll have a look at that, and I might even discuss that tomorrow. Um... Savian said, Sigma 105 is a dumbbell lens. Yeah, it's massive, but I can't wait to try it. I've been dying to try it because uh, I'd love to know how that looks as compared to, say, the Sigma 135 or the Sony 135. So I'm dying to try it out, uh, you know, the Bocalicious type lens. I'm really excited about trying that. All right, guys, uh, that's all for now. I'm, I'm going to go and have dinner. Um, please, if you can... Uh, leave any uh, things you're curious about down below and I'll, I'll try and read them overnight and I might be able to discuss them with you for all of tom in tomorrow's live Sony Alpha and Rumours uh, show that I'm doing tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Uh, by the way, just as a sneak peek, uh, next week's show with Aaron, uh, I am going to have Camera Conspiracies on live, so I'm having him as a guest on. So stay tuned for that. Can't wait for that. It's going to be so so much fun having him on. So really looking forward to that as well. Uh, apart from that, guys, I'll see you all tomorrow for the live show. Bye for now.